All right. So we're at week 30 of Mindful Moments. And that feels like a significant number. And we're also at the last month of a really depthful year. So I felt kind of in a reflective mood, and I'm sure a lot of people are just as uh, these 12 months wind down. So I was thinking about all the things we had done these past 30 weeks, and there was one guided visualization in particular that seemed to cultivate a lot of reflection, and we spoke about doing it once more. So it felt like good timing. Um, But I won't say too much about it because I think it's good to go into it without much expectation. One thing I'll say, um, everyone has a different relationship with visualizing. Um, No matter what, at the end of the day, as long as you're following your breath as it goes in through your nose and out through your mouth and staying present with it, that's always a good baseline. If you can't connect with a certain visual prompt or guidance just feel free to you know sit with it to allow however you are connecting with it to connect and to just follow your breath but we'll dive right in and to start and I typically do this with my eyes closed um, but you know whatever's comfortable for you could um, get into a comfortable posture And we can notice if we're holding tension in anywhere specific. And we can follow the breath and release any of that tension in our face muscles, arms, legs. And let's just get acquainted with the breath to start just following the natural pace of it through the nose and out through the mouth. Setting the intention to allow ourselves to feel reflective and to start to connect with our inner minds because that's where the visualization really takes place. And to start, we're going to pick, you have any choice really, the only preface is to be on the ground So any environment of your choosing, you could be on the ground of a beach, on the ground of a forest, uh, your favorite room, just sitting on the ground, figure out where it is that you want to feel like you're sitting. And as you follow your breath, you can commit to feeling like you're in this environment through your sense of sight, your sense of feeling, your sense of hearing. You may feel like you're there immediately or it might get stronger over time. Just breathing and meditating on this environment that you chose. And using your sense of inner sight, just notice the area of the ground in front of you. And like magic, something is appearing on this ground and you notice that it's a book. And intuitively, you feel that this book represents your life 
and it looks very unique. It looks like no other book you've ever seen. It's unique to your journey. Maybe it's made of leather, a different material. Maybe it's really big, or maybe it's kind of short. Whatever that book is, allow it to really formulate in front of you and feel the reverence in looking at your life in the form of this book. And just sit with this visual as you continue to follow that breath. And you might, you might feel a sense of excitement because there's so much that we can do with this book. We can look at the title, we can sift through the table of contents. We could even look at the back synopsis. Maybe we can begin by trying to look at that front cover. Maybe you can imagine picking up this book and taking a closer look and see if you can see a title. Maybe there is one, maybe there's multiple titles. Just follow your breath and notice if you can see a title that represents this journey that you've been on. And if you feel ready to open to the table of contents, And you might even notice an opening quote on the page before the table of contents. Just that one liner that might really preface what your journey has been about. And see what you notice about the table of contents. If the chapter titles are very clear And scroll down those chapters and see if you can find the chapter that you're currently in. And notice if you can see the title. When you feel ready, begin to open to this chapter and the book being in its magical essence might help you open to it. And once you get to this chapter, notice the title and notice how much writing is already in this chapter. Maybe you're halfway through it. Maybe the chapter is just beginning. You can keep following your breath as you sit with this chapter that you're currently in. And now flip to where the last sentence of this chapter ha has left off. And you notice that this space right next to the last sentence that has been written represents the present moment, the part of your journey that has yet to be written. And in your right hand, you notice something forming. You can feel it with your sense of touch. And you notice that it's a pen. And this pen symbolizes your ability to write your story. And you might reflect on all the times throughout your life in which someone else tried to take the pen and feel the presence of this pen in your hand right now. 
And if you feel called, guide the pen to that space right next to that last sentence. In this moment, maybe you can write one word that represents a feeling that you want to feel right now and really be there as you write this word and feel it just wash over your being as you follow the breath. Maybe you'll feel that strength in being able to write a part of your story. And for the next two minutes, I'm going to allow each of us to do as we please within this scene. So keep following your breath. And it's your choice if you wish to read the synopsis of your journey on the back, if you wish to review some earlier chapters, flip to the future, whatever you wish to do for the next two minutes, just follow your breath and allow yourself to be free in this scene. maybe for a final minute. It's not every day that we spend time with our life book. So maybe we can just hold this book in our hands. Notice how we feel in regards to this journey as a whole. And however you wish to have your final moments in this environment. And at your own pace, feel free to breathe your way back into the space. And like I had said at the beginning, um, I'm sure there's a lot of reflection that can come up. You can feel free to share anything, whether it's maybe you saw the book title, if anything was specifically vivid for you, or anything that you wish to reflect on. Thanks a lot for joining, y'all.